This question is about a cosine. And we're asked to sketch in the time and frequency domains. So the cosine in the time domain is straightforward. It's a periodic signal. Now, because we know the period of the signal, we can label that here. So that's one period here, and that's 2 pi divided by 10, or pi over 5. That should be enough for our cosine. Now, in the frequency domain, the cosine signal, if you look at the table of Fourier pairs, the cosine signal is simply a pair of impulses at plus minus, so plus minus omega naught. So minus omega naught and pi pi. But in this case, we know the value of omega naught because it's given. So we can simply replace that with 10 and minus 10. So that would be the spectrum x of omega. And this would have been x of t. Now we're given two cosines added together, and we're asked to sketch it only in the frequency domain. So similarly, we label the frequency axis, and we look at the two um, values of frequency, 10 and 5. So they, these are our omegas. So we've got 5 and 10 minus 5 minus 10. And we've got, look at the amplitude there. So one is twice the amplitude of the other. So. I guess this would be twice the amplitude of this. So this would be 2 pi, and that would be pi, 2 pi, and pi. OK. Now it says find the power. To find the power of a signal, because it's a cosine, the power of each cosine, so if you had a a cosine omega naught t, its power would be a squared over 2. So in this case, we would simply take the 1 and the 2 as our coefficients. And so it would be 1 squared over 2 plus 2 squared over 2 which is 5 over 2.